Hi, I'm Molly Sullivan with Tennis MD, your source for all your tennis health, fitness, and injury information. Many tennis players are prone to torn rotator cuff, which can cause decreased range of motion and strengthen the shoulder joint. The pain and injury can often cause tennis players limited mobility and misplay. Today we visit Dr. Michael Miao, sports medicine orthopedic surgeon, to tell us more about torn rotator cuff. Rotator cuff is a collection of four muscles that come from the shoulder blade and surround the ball of the joint by attaching a sheet of tendon around the ball. It helps to hold the ball in the joint and helps to move the arm in space. Rotator cuff tears are actually a tear of the insertion of the tendon to the bone. Rotator cuff tears occur differently in different age groups. Younger athletes typically develop rotator cuff tears with blunt injuries with the exception of overhead athletes like throwers, tennis players, who will get rotator cuff tears because of the repetitive injury. Older athletes tend to develop rotator cuff tears as an attrition to the tissue over time. The symptoms of a rotator cuff tear basically include pain and stiffness. You can see loss of motion. The pain is typically at the side of the shoulder and extends down the side of the arm into sometimes the elbow or the hand. The treatment for rotator cuff tear depends on the degree of the injury. A small partial tear of a rotator cuff can be treated conservatively with medications, injections of steroids, and physical therapy while resting the shoulder joint for a period of time. A more significant tear will probably end up requiring some type of surgery either to remove torn tissue or to repair the tendon attachment back to the bone. Athletes who have rotator cuff tears, if an overhead athlete requiring acceleration of a racket or a ball, will typically have great difficulty continuing to play until the symptoms resolve. Contact players typically can return to play if the symptoms are reasonably well controlled. A torn rotator cuff is again difficult to treat uh, quickly. Uh, most of the time in an athlete's population anyway, the rotated cuff needs to have surgery to repair it. It does not repair on its own. So if the athlete goes and has the surgery which will allow him to get back to full, full performance, then the rehabilitation of that athlete is at least six months. And I don't care if you're a professional athlete or a regular athlete. You're not going to get back to throwing a baseball at 90 miles an hour or even 70 miles an hour or hitting a tennis ball in less than six months. Be sure to keep these tips in mind when you prepare for sports and want to stay strong and healthy. I'm Molly Sullivan with TennisMD.com. Remember, at TennisMD, health equals performance.